Oh yeah, so I just did a quick test and I was surprised at what I found. So this is what I shot. First I shot the uh, I shot the Lishi in uh, Lishi Lishi in a 25 caliber. Right, that's my 25 caliber. Um, so I shot a three of each. First three, and so on and so forth. Right, three, three, three. Uh, you know, obviously when I got to the 22, I changed to 22 caliber. So that's what I have in the in the gun right now, 22 caliber. And I didn't do any other changes. I didn't change the uh, regulator. I didn't change the spring tension, hammer spring tension. The regulator, I, I can't remember if I set it at 105 bars or 110 bars. One of the two. Anyways, so so the numbers I found was very interesting. So so keep in mind that this uh, this um, crony uh, chronograph uh, it counts down the number from the last shot, right? So it'll be the, the last shot to the first shot. So it counts backwards. Okay. So let's look at these numbers. So so the last shot was actually so there's three of each. So three times seven is uh, 21 shots. So the last shot actually it actually came up uh, it dropped off the regulator so that's why the shot was a little bit low and on, on the first shot it was actually kind of low too the first two usually first shot of show is kind of low because the gun was completely cold you know it just went out it just came out of my closet so it's completely cold usually when when i shoot at that it's uh i find it and this is with every gun i've ever had every regulated gun i've ever had the first couple shots is it's a little bit off but then after usually by, by the third shot or so it stabilizes and everything's good so uh so keep those in mind but just look at the numbers difference between uh the king heavies which is you know 33.95 right basically 34 the kings 25.4 versus the uh uh the jumbo beast which is you know 33.9 so basically the, the the jumbo beast and the king heavies are basically the same weight and i also have the uh uh, Jumbo Monsters 25.4 so basically the Jumbo Monster the, the redesign which is the original design these two 22s are the same weight as the King 25s alright so uh, so keep those in mind and look at those numbers how they how they made up it's very interesting they're, they're actually all different so let's look at it uh, let's see so my first shot is oh excuse me the, the the last shot it's gonna be 21 number 21 right here is 40 949 so that that went off the regulator so that's 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 this one to so two more on this one uh 49 looks like i cleared it god damn it 69 uh that's this one 75 6 769 772 so pretty even right 775, same weight. 775, 771, pretty, pretty consistent. 781, 86, 71, so pretty consistent. 30, 831, 830, 822. So these ones were 7 something, right? 780 something. 20, 725, 719, 704. Uh, so th this was. Uh, you know, these two are the same weight. This one was eight eighty something, I believe it was. Seven eighty two, eighty four, and sixty two. So that's this one. So if you look, you know, look at the numbers. These two, you know, being the same weight. Uh, the difference between these two, I think, was around. Uh, even though the same weight, twenty five was twenty two. The twenty two was running at about, I think, about twenty five or thirty or so. You know. Uh, Foot pounds, excuse me, uh, feet per second slower. The 25 fours in the 22 versus 25 four in the 25. These these two are running about 50 feet per second slower than the 25. So basically, the 25s at, at, at the same weight as the 22s are running faster than the 22s are. Uh, so that that really surprised me. I thought they would be pretty much the same, more or less. So my theory is that. My theory is that the 25 caliber, because the bore is bigger, even though all the weight's the same, because of the bore is bigger, when, when you know when when the when the uh, valve opens and and the air rushes through, the bigger bore here, it allows more air to go go you know push out faster, 
so that, so that way it's able to push the, the pellet faster versus the 22 caliber the bore is smaller right smaller bore so it's so basically it's it, that smaller bore basically acts as a restriction so it doesn't push out the pellet as fast or as you know it, it doesn't it doesn't allow the air to 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 uh, to expand and and as quickly as the 25 bore it does so uh so i think that's 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 why the 25 are actually sh shooting faster than the 22s you know in the same weight so that that actually really really surprised me uh i was i really was expecting them to be you know more or less the same you know within probably like 10 uh foot per second or so uh 10 feet per second or so was you know my my i was like oh yeah it's probably you know within the same amount but it, it isn't um let's look at the gun itself quick real quickly let's look at the bore on here it's kind of hard to tell because the because this one's closer than this one is so so this one looks you know on 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 camera this one looks the same or even bigger than this one but in reality this one's actually uh smaller than this one is um, actually let's put this 25 caliper up against there so 25 versus 22 you can see the 25 is bigger right a little bigger so let's put it over here 25 versus the uh opening there it's about the same see that so the opening is about 25. Um, that opening is about 25 versus the 22 bore. So I think that's why the 25 calibers are shooting faster, it, it giving you know everything else being equal. Uh, because this bore, it's it's open more, so it's bigger. It's uh, versus, and it mates to the 25 caliber really well, whereas the 22 bore, it's um. It's a little bit smaller. It basically acts as a restriction, so uh, so it doesn't shoot as uh, as fast. So yeah, so that surprised me quite a bit. Okay, so that's what I found for today. Chances are, I mean, I have six, I have all six uh, six barrels for this gun. You know, I have both the short barrel and the long barrel. You know, the tw the two fifty and the three fifty. In all, in all three calibers, so basically I have six barrels. Uh, for the most part, I think I'm gonna stick with the 25, uh, the 25 longer barrel, um, just because you know at the tune that I have set up right now with 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 the Lishi, uh, uh, with the 25 uh, in the uh, in the heavier weight, the, the the King heavies, it's shooting at I believe 38 foot pounds. 38 or 39 I forget then the Kings are shooting about a foot pound less than that so so it's 37 or 38 you know if this is 39 this is 38 this is 38 this is 37 so basically about a foot pound difference but basically the, the high 30s uh, in there if I were to use a shorter barrel the 250 millimeter barrel uh, I you know it's about 10 foot pounds less uh, now I could I could bring it up more than 10 foot, you know, more, you know, more than, uh, you know, upper 20s for the shorter barrel, but I could tell that it wastes a lot of air. You could hear it, you know, usually when you waste air, uh, uh, it becomes louder that this, you know, that all that wasted air is, 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 uh, is what makes all that noise. So same thing with the, um, with the longer barrel. With the longer barrel as is right now, it's actually, uh, it's just about right as far as air usage. So it's not really wasting any air. So I could turn it up higher. But I could tell that it wastes more air, and I, you know, just but just just the sound alone, you could t you could hear the difference in the sound, uh, you know, all the extra air being wasted. Uh, when the air is not wasted, it's actually very quiet. When it's shooting, uh, when you're using just just the right amount of air, it's actually very quiet. Um, so yeah. So anyways, I'm gonna leave that about you know upper thirties, and that's so so that way, you know, I could take out a raccoon. I thought you know I could easily take out a raccoon with a twenty five. Um, either in the 25 gram or the uh, 33 gram, or excuse me, green. Um, either one in 25, uh, you know, at the upper 30 foot pounds, takes a raccoon out easily. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I actually have a little, little uh, multi pump uh, crossman. And then, uh, you know, if you see my other videos, you know that I have a multi pump crossman in 177, and I use that for, I use that now for, for uh, mouse and, and rats 
around the house. Uh, and it seems to be strong enough. Usually when I shoot mouse and rats around the house, it's I'm very close. I'm like within like 10 feet or so. Uh, I usually get even closer than that, you know, because they, they hide in a little, you know, uh, a little, um, uh, a little cross, cross space for them. So they hide, they, they wedge themselves in a little tiny space. So, so I get up right in there. Um, and they just stay there. Usually when, when they know you're there, they just stay there because they think they're safe. So I usually get up, up there, you know, usually within three feet or so. So I shoot them within about three feet most of the time. And with that one, you know, five pumps is enough for uh, for that close up. The last time I shot one, I think I shot at five pumps and it was more than enough on a, on a mouse. Uh, it went right through uh, with five pumps. So with a rat, five pumps should probably be enough as well. Maybe six pumps. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, so this is the discovery that I found with the Lishi, um, the power wise. Uh, and you know, and I have a bunch of other pellets as well that I haven't tried yet, but but uh, so far with the 25 anyways, the, the most accurate is the Kings, 25.4 grains. Uh, I haven't tested the accuracy in the 22s yet, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna leave the power setting the same and, and just test the accuracy with the same power setting just to see. Uh, right now I just don't, don't have time to to be you know playing around with the tune and, and seeing seeing what's more accurate and you know if I change the the uh, change the tune and stuff and see what's more if it's more if it gets more accurate or not. Um, so yeah, so that's that's for now. Uh, I I update yes later on when I I do start to uh, change around the the settings the tunes and stuff and just to see what the results are. Alright, thanks for watching.